Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper, episode 63. Before we get into the first game, I just need to say a massive thank you to you all because the support on the channel has just been going and going and going and I really can't believe I'm in this sort of situation where people actually enjoy my content so I am very much appreciative to everyone that has been watching all the content so far and in the future. I have just one question for you. Are you ready? One last thing before we get into it, make sure you leave a like on this video, it really does help my channel, subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. Let's get into the first match, it is against Adanya Demrespor, we come on as a substitute in about the 60th minute and the first bit of action comes with Osman with a long range on his weaker foot which does force the goalkeeper into the save but just a few minutes later we're on the ball with Kante this time, he finds the back of the net with a decent little team goal and for some reason he scores again, the captain is absolutely fantastic, he's the one centre of attention, a little pass a move and another bit of one twosies to Kante again left footed there's weaker foot hits it first time the keeper can't quite shuffle across his line he does do it okay attempt just a fingertip or maybe even flick the ball but it just wasn't enough 75th minute we get a throw in Osman gets a bit lucky the ball comes back to him passes Sterling and this is another strike from a, a mysterious man I don't actually know who number 32 is but the keeper does make another save just nine minutes left now and Osman involved to Sterling to Osman again near post and that's a ridiculous save for the keeper pushing out for a corner from the corner they clear it to the edge of the box falls to number 32 plays it into Plata lets it for his legs into Brooking and somehow he sneaks it in at a near post you don't expect a centre back to score a goal but that is so cheeky from Platter just to let the ball through his legs knew exactly where his teammate was and it's a decent finish from a centre back keeper kind of step in hot feet and can't quite set himself and we are 2-0 up just two minutes left of the game Sterling with the ball on the left side of the box plays it into number 32 to Osman holds up a little bit back to Sterling just making some space back to 32 pass it across to Platter and he just taps it in was finally getting these passer moves going and it's good to see because we have been struggling to score some goals but when Platter to Osman and Sterling are on form the defence was going to be in trouble but it was actually Silva involved I thought it was number 32 but Silva is there there's 32 with the captain's armband don't know who he is like I said and the platter is there to finish off the move defender kind of steps out hands behind his back for some reason and leaves the space for platter just to scoop it into the back of the net and the game ends 3-0 on to the next game against Arsenal, it's a massive game into the Premier League and we are playing at the Emirates Stadium away from home, it's going to be a tough one, they are a few points ahead of us and obviously they have a good team and starting off Arsenal break through the defence line, it's grabbing back, holding off the defender, getting close to the box, takes a shot early and just misses the goal, unfortunate for them but lucky for me, now we have Reese James down the right side into Osman and it's Platter who sneaks it past Ramsdale somehow, ninth minute pretty much and it's a beautiful goal but you've got to ask questions about Ramsdale so what is he doing at his near post? From the looks of it, Arsenal's defence hasn't quite organised itself. There's a little bit of space in the middle. And Platter just runs onto that ball from uh, Ozerman and hits it first time. His weaker foot, I believe, at Ramsdale just kind of falls to the floor. Gets a little fingertip to it, but not good enough from my competition for the number one shirt for England. Again, 30 minutes though. We get taken out here. It's starting to stood out from behind. What's the referee going to decide here? He looks a bit angry, to be fair. And it's a straight red card for the Arsenal defender. He naughty, naughty. I don't think you can have any arguments about it. Kamara absolutely snaps Sterling from behind. Sometimes they get away with it when the ball gets kicked away but he wasn't fortunate enough. From the free kick James does absolutely nothing but we do have Sterling down the left side of the pitch charging at the defence side. Holds up the ball a little bit but De Plata again and he scores an absolute scream into the top corner making it 2-0. He is on absolute fire at the moment. Gonzalo Plata, remember the name, comes from Sterling, holds up the ball just there and he waits for the run from Plata. Saka just ball watching doesn't track the run at all and for some reason Silva's on the goal line maybe put off Ramsdale but either way the goalkeeper is not doing enough again 43rd minute now as Platter on the ball to Ozerman draws out Ramsdale you see Sterling who slots it away unbelievable vision from Ozerman just waits for Ramsdale to commit to charging down the ball and lays off the cheekiest little pass you're ever going to see and Sterling just slots it away because it's easy as that it's a great run as well it's a little flick actually to Sterling that was just a perfect move and I I cannot complain we are 3-0 up even pot is happy and we go into the half time with the 3-0 lead arsenal have done nothing since the very beginning of the game with the red card they're struggling a little bit and it could get worse from the first corner of the second half whipped in saka gets bodied by kunde there out to brooking to osman to pass it across the platter for his hat trick osman is the provider he's the new kdb by the looks of it i wish he'd score more goals but platter is there on the end of it, making it 4-0 he gets a hat trick osman is unbelievable 
possible. But look at the strength from Kunde. Absolutely pushes Saka out of his way. He does hit the floor pretty hard. But no problem there from the referee apparently. And then Plata, easy as you like. Rams there all out of position. 4-0 against Arsenal. They do get an opportunity though. Close to the end of the match. Little effort. Nothing. Not in my heart. And that is the game done and dusted. A poor performance from Arsenal. The red card did not help him at all. I only make one save. Ramsdale only makes one save. Difference is he conceded four. Now we move on to the final game of the episode. That's another London derby against West Ham this time. My former club. Can I perform well against them? We have to wait and see. Starting off the game. They get through our defence line way too easy again. It's a nice through ball. Now he's charging at me. But I push him out wide a little bit. Watch him, watch him, watch him. And I make the save at the near post. From the corner they whip it in. They win the first header. And now it's a bit of a scramble but somehow we do keep it out and it goes up for a corner I do actually make the save off my shoulder James is there involved as well everyone's getting clambered around and then somehow I get kicked in the head as well James gets a knee in the head look I get stamped on there James gets a knee takes off everyone the number nine for West Ham from that corner they do whip it straight into the mix and they win the first header again it falls down into six yard box and he's the first player there and we are 1-0 down not a lot I could do really the ball does fall maybe I should have charged out a little bit but we should be winning the first first headers and the second ball just loops straight into the six yard box and here's the one on alert look at the run there's no way I'm getting out quick enough to that he just hits it sweet as you like on the volley I try closing down the ball it's not out quick enough and he just hits it just past me and we're 1-0 down into 10th minute though we have Platter down his right side of the pitch holds the play gets past him way too easy plays it to Osman to Reese James plays it across the stern hits it first time and he levels the game that's exactly how you want your team to react going 1-0 down get back on the attack and get a goal back nice and quickly comes from Platter there what is the West Ham player doing there dives in way too easy Reese James being the supportive right back or right wing back that he is and plays it across to Sterling way too easy West Ham defenders in no man's land not marking their players 23rd minute we'll play around the edge of the box Silver out to Sterling hits it first time Platter but it's an easy save for the goalkeeper to hold on to again down his left side the pitch is Chilwell into Oz and waits for Stern to make him run one of the keeper hits it near post and he snuck it in again putting us in into the lead Sterling just strikes that ball so well and the keeper I feel like he should be saving it he could have finessed it straight past him but the power beats him he runs off the midfield as well defenders too far apart and yeah the keeper should be saving that no question about it but I'm not going to complain we're into the lead 38th minute Osman into Plata Silver gets stuck in with a little tackle back for Sterling and the ball just trickles just past the post coming to the end of the half West Ham do get the final attack and it's a nothing attack easy for me to hold on to the ball nicely the player jumps over me for some reason as well but that is the first half done and dusted we're a bit fortunate to be in the lead the goalkeeper had a little bit of a nightmare and I didn't really stand a chance with the first attempted save West Ham are the first ones on the attack 65th minutes take a little while but they're down this left side of the pitch charging into the box now no defenders near plays it across and they get the simplest goal of their career what is my right back doing Reese James lets me down it's Hazard he's still at West Ham he's been there for a while Forgan Hazard though it's a decent goal our left back doesn't really do much our right back just lets him wander into the box six yards again and once again I have no opportunity to make this save I'm not quick enough across my line I don't think I'm really expected to make the save maybe I could have come out and cut out the cross but not good enough 2-2 two, two, 70th minute now Sterner hits it this time the keeper does make a pretty good save from that corner we don't tend to win the first header it's out to the edge of the box Kunde wins it to Platter on the half turn volley but straight to the goalkeeper easy save now if James whipping the ball into mixer defender makes a mistake falls to Osman he finesses it past the keeper making it 3-2 putting us back into the lead what a game this has been then he starts practicing on the corner flag with a bit of boxing but this ball from Reece James a bit of a nothing one hits it first time the defender makes a horrible mistake though loses the ball to Ozzerman on his left foot keeper no chance this time I'm going to give him a bit of respite because he goes the wrong way actually but it's a good goal a little bit of a mistake and then I get subbed off obviously because I don't make any saves six shots against two saves apparently 5.9 rating and we do go on to win the game 3-2 10 shots though should have scored a, a few more by looks of it looking at the clean sheet table we're sitting second five clean sheets out of 16 not as good as our Barcelona career we've had a bit of a shaky start at Chelsea but sadly that's going to be it for today's episode I hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like on this video it really does help my channel subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing and as always look after yourself stay safe and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.